Hey, what is going on guys and girls, and Jet Cybersex here, also known as Epics, and welcome back. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. <coughs> now, this one was actually requested, uh, and it's how to get the Mac away, uh, <laughs> yeah, how to get the Mac OS X Mountain Lion skin pack uh, for Windows 7, 8, or uh, XP. So basically, uh, Mountain Lion is the Mac, uh, like the Mac OS, uh, if you don't know what OS stands for, it stands for Operating System. Now you won't actually have to download an ISO or anything, you're just downloading a program and the program just changes some files in your uh, in your install directory of Windows itself and it basically just changes or even adds in other files which makes it look like a Mac OS. Don't worry, if you don't like it, you can always go ahead and uninstall it and it will go back to the normal Windows 7, Windows 8 or XP um, operating system that you actually have. <coughs> you'll still be winning, uh, running Windows 7, Windows 8 or XP, whatever you guys are actually running at the moment. But I will warn you guys that you will have to find out if you're on a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. And also, you have to um, be willing to restart your system after. So all you want to do is come over to this site, I'll have an ad play link in the description below. Go ahead, come onto it, and click whichever version you want. Obviously I click the uh, x86. Uh, sorry, x64 because that is 64 bit. x86 86 is 32. So I will, um, yeah, I've already downloaded it. Here's mine. Uh, but when you click it, it will bring a ad file link, and you just gotta wait five seconds and do whatever. So I'm gonna uh, gonna go ahead and load that up now. As you can see, it's started to load. Let me just move all these onto the other screen. And when it loads up, you wanna click next. Let's set these next next. And you can always go ahead and select what you like, what you actually want to install, or what you don't want to install. I'm just gonna install everything. Um, it's best to go ahead. There's currently no ads on here, so you know, like you, uh, you won't have to download and like any separate programs. Uh, but hopefully, um, this won't actually cut off and just randomly reboot your system. It should uh, ask you if you want to reboot now or later, but. Um, once you've rebooted it, it'll be easy to come back on. Don't worry, this isn't the end of the video. Uh, but I'm just warning you guys, just in case it does that for your system. I believe it doesn't do it for mine. It takes around uh, 5 minutes to actually install. It all depends on uh, your read and write speed uh, from, where the, um, from where the setup is, at, um, like is located to, where, uh, to how fast your operating system hard drive is. So I will go ahead and skip this right now all right guys so actually during the installation process you'll see some uh, command prompt windows coming up um not command prompts cmd windows coming up and they'll close instantly don't worry that is just what the um that is just what the setup do uh, does it's mainly after every dot dll is installed or even after every single one of these are installed uh so if you see that like i said it's mainly dlls i believe it only works for dlls and then i believe it's fine so um my taskbar is actually gone right now now I'm actually going to go ahead and save this recording very quickly before I click next. As you know, if I click next, it should be fine. But see, over here it would, it, you know, it would actually if you want to go ahead and reboot. Um, now if I was you, I won't press finish, I won't press finish at all yet. So you want to go ahead, save this link, or bookmark it, or like it, or watch later on your YouTube um, account, and then you want to reboot your system, and then uh, you can go ahead and launch up your Safari. And I'll guide you through some basics on there. So I will see you. I will see you after. All right, guys. So I have just restarted my computer. As you can see, there's this folder. There's this file and edit all on the taskbar. And this is the, actually the taskbar right now. Uh, so <laughs> if you don't want this here, um, there will be a, a like a prompt that comes up. It's called Find Bar. And Find Bar is basically what this is. Now you can actually, I believe, you can go ahead and move this somewhere. Or you can just, you know, just go ahead and remove it itself anyway. Um, I believe you can exit. Yeah, the, when you right click it, the exit is the find bar. And if you haven't noticed, you will have this dock at the bottom. Now, I, I, sadly, I can't actually show you the dock because it is actually on my other screen. <coughs> so basically, if you have like dual monitors or at least dual screens, uh, the bad thing about it is um, it will take that in, uh, into consideration. It will find what your main. Um, let's say your main <laughs> your main display is like the one that you can't actually see is my uh, is not my main one 
but it for some strange reason uh, for some strange reason is doing on the other uh, on the other one. So if I went ahead, actually no, I won't be able to show you. So sadly I won't be able to show you it, but that is fully customizable. You can do whatever you want to that. And you can go ahead and drag up things there. You can see I'm actually currently dragging it. Drag it out, and that's it. Delete. But I would highly recommend watching a tutorial and doing it because it can get complicated. Sometimes it does not save. So as you can see, there's this skin pack thing. Uh, this is who was made by skinpack.com, uh, and this little thing here. Uh, closes down the menu and it's really simple guys it is seriously that simple um, all that it is is folders changing or even being added and just uh, obviously viewing it and I was actually supposed to show you um, on the thing itself that I just closed there was actually a hand and you know it looks like the stop sign that's actually the uninstall pack uh, button if you click it will uninstall the pack now you don't actually have to go ahead and um, you know do like reboot your system for it to launch up I believe you could go into uninstall a program and do it as well. Yes, you can. It's right here. Mountain Lion Skin Pack. Where's it? Where's it gone? Nice right, here. And wow, it keeps loading. Let's just stop. The oh wait, no, it's finished. Right, so you know you can click on it and click on install and change, and it will uninstall it for you. And that's if you don't like it. But this was <laughs> requested, and I thought this was a really good thing. You know, I didn't even think about doing this tutorial, and I did this, guys, for you. I I I'll probably keep this for a bit until I get bored of it again. But, uh, you know, there is one thing that is really annoying, and you can actually change the view um, of what it looks like. like. You could have, I believe it's X Launchpad, and it looks really cool. It, it looks really cool. If you, like, look at it, wow, it looks really cool. Close monitor. Oh, even better. Even better. No, it's not even better. It does nothing. Great. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Close monitor is to, uh, to stop it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this has actually gone for a long time, uh, so if I go ahead, well, if I actually manage to find the settings for it, I'll uh, do that for you. So, guys, I will see you either in my next video or at the end of this one. Guys, it's not the end of the video. I found out how you actually get up the settings, and no, I didn't Google them. I, I promised I didn't Google them. Anyway, all that you do is you, you know, highlight, well, not highlight, you want to hover over one of these, the things here, you want to right click, and it will say dock settings, you just want to click dock settings and you want to come, well, come into position and you'll be able to see uh, which monitor goes on now this is only if you have two monitors or more you can go ahead and click whatever monitor you want obviously this one goes in, you know, kind of like if you've got two monitors, let's say plasma monitors or ones that are really thin on the edges you can go ahead and put this monitor thing on setting and it will go on both but this will only work if they're both the uh, you know the same aspect ratio, or even uh, resolution. You know them to both matter. But if they don't, like mine aren't, uh, you won't see anything on the other screen. So I'm going to go ahead, put it at number two. Um, you know you can change whichever way it is on the left, right, or bottom. Um, you know it. It doesn't look bad either. You know it looks legit. It looks fine. You can change the centering. It could be right at the edge, or it could be. 0% which is the middle and this edge offset thing here you know you can just change um, how far it is down up stuff like that obviously there is a maximum and there is a minimum as per usual on these type of programs uh, you can go ahead and change the theme of it now you actually need to install these themes you can't just go ahead and have whatever the theme, uh, theme you want you know, as, you, uh, as you should be able to you can actually change the opacity as well um, so yeah, this is actually the end of the tutorial now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time, see you guys.